homies, it's your man's Coach Smetta. We coming to you live from our PS3. It is currently season two bowl week of our Gonzaga Bulldogs Restricted Dynasty. Restricted meaning we've got all kinds of uh, restrictions on our coach trees, the sliders, uh, how we can recruit, so on and so forth. It's meant to make this a very tough from uh, zero to hero story. So far, we've been pretty much the hero back to back. Mountain West Conference champions. We just beat our gatekeeper, Boise State. Ironically, we're ranked 13th, they're ranked 12th. They'll be in the Poinsettia Bowl. We are in the Las Vegas Bowl. And we have Stanford. Yes, that's Stanford. The team that we played week two of the season and lost on a uh, McCaffrey, Christian McCaffrey touchdown run, two yards with seven seconds to go. We could have got this rematch next year because by way of winning the Mountain West Conference Championship back-to-back, -back, we're headed to the Pac-12, but we get to do it this year. Same team, and once again, they are really good. They are a loaded football team. There are very few weaknesses, and we're going to have to play our A game to punch up and hopefully, you know, hit them one shot. That's all we need. Preferably below the waist. The ref doesn't see it. And then take advantage from there. <laughs> I think it's important we do a little a little stroll down memory lane. Uh, as you can see, yeah, it was it was a defensive battle. And seven seconds to go, Christian McCaffrey, he got us. Maybe we left too much time on the clock. Maybe. But we've learned from then. Uh, it was part of our, our first two games of the season, we could not run the ball. As you see, we tried it 29 times, only got 85 here. I don't know what that was. For only 85 yards, we were able to throw the ball, but uh, we also had a couple of turnovers. This time, we're you know we're hoping things will be different. We did a great job on McCaffrey, a great job on McCaffrey, and they did a great job on our run game. So you, you know how adjustments work. So let's take a look at Stanford. More every fresher course than anything. Solid quarterbacks, incredible running back Christian McCaffrey behind him, Barry Sanders Jr. Behind him, Bryce Love. You know, they're, they're going to be running the power well for years. Some ridiculous receivers, some guys we really can't run with, and then some future NFL players on down the line. You know how it is. Tight ends. All of them match up problems for us. We're just going to really have to um, find any little advantage we can. The offensive line is solid. Uh, it looks like the left guard is going to be our... One matchup we can cool. really take advantage of. Once again, going to be very tough to run on them. Even with their uh, left outside linebacker down, they've pretty much got the depth to replace them. In the secondary, they're all they're you know they're all relatively big guys, decent speed. The free safety can be had if we can match them up and get the big posts on top of them. But for the most part, they had they have very few flaws. But I think I think our matchup we're going to really work is Marshall in the slot and Hunter in the slot and then we're just going to force them to pay so much attention to those guys that we're able to take our shots and uh, keep those safeties back so we can run against light boxes defensively it's the same story as last time focus these two guys make someone else prove they can beat us tail of the tape even though we're the team that's ranked 13th in the country and coming off the you know dub over the number six team in the country, Herb Street likes Stanford, and I can't blame them. They did beat us. Our offense has been outstanding. Defense, you kind of know how the numbers work on this game. Like it's, it's 397, 379 a game. Actually, you know, not so bad. But uh, yeah, offense has just been low this season no injuries for us that average attendance number pay attention to that because that does mean we get to put money into our scouting we now have the funds to actually you know go out to games and look at our recruits before they just show up they have the one injury for the out for the season to their uh, left outside linebacker interesting note we average more fans in attendance at our 50,000 seat stadium than Stanford did this year turn up Again, you see our schedule, you've been around, you know what's been going on. What has gone on with Stanford since they 
snuck one. Uh, they lost to Washington the following week. They have a loss to Oregon State, Notre Dame, Oregon, UCLA. I'm look, we're looking forward to this schedule next year. They beat Army. And they're on a bit of a win streak, including a win over U USC. Our statistical leaders, Dez. Uh, we're not going to look at all Americans or our, our recruits, recruit, recruiting class or any of that until next week. You guys find out who won the Heisman, uh, who are the national champions, all of that. That's next week. For right now, just know that we got a couple of you know, we got we got a, we got us a couple of guys, my guys. Uh, and a 85 tackles. Whoa. Hayes leads us in sacks. Got a couple of guys at five. Uh, Womack, Payne, Johnson. You know the names. You know the names. For Stanford, Burns, very efficient. McCaffrey has been Christian McCaffrey. Hooper's the tight end. Uh, last time we, we we tried to man him up with Eans. This time, we'll probably put Mead on him. You think that because cool? Mead has you know a, some man cover skills. More importantly, he's athletic enough to not get burned so bad that the help around him can't come up and uh, help him make tackles and keep Hooper under uh, under lots. And for McCaffrey, uh, last time we put Inna on him essentially, and it worked. We'll start that way and adjust from there. So. Stanford, Las Vegas Bowl. Let's get it. A football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. On the field, warm-ups are wrapping up as both teams are hoping to deal the winning hand in the Las Vegas Bowl. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He sails it long, makes the catch, and he might take it. Got an opening. Touchdown, Cardinals. Seriously? All right. And he's Good run. About the 25 -yard line. Good fiscal <laughs> run. Uh oh. Oh, and a face mask? He at least grabbed the back of my face mask. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Good play. Damn, I almost got all them yards back. I don't want to take a chance we get an inaccurate ball that gets picked off. Yeah, we may just have to settle for the three. Five yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. There we go. Let the double team do what it do and then make a play off of it. Missed the tackle. That wasn't happening last game. But I think if we keep hitting them, we'll, we'll be able to. We'll, we'll slow it down. The first down. Good D. Good D. Good. Okay, we forced a 57 yard field goal. They better not. Good, he missed it. He's taken down at about the 43 yard line. We may have run for more yards already in this first quarter than we did the entire T of last game, and I, I, I'm, uh, um, I'm not gonna say that's cap, but you know what I mean. Oh yeah, we'll be taking these these yards. Just gonna keep running the ball, the keep keeping it simple. We're getting exactly what we want. It's in the middle right now. 
which means they're gonna start run blitzing, which means got hit and still completed it. They'll bring him down at the 10 yard line. You know what? Let's try to get one more in. I'm gonna be real with you. A lot of not good happened in that audible, but it worked. <laughs> oh. Ball on their own 38. Again, he'll get the call. Oh. He's at the down the sideline. And he's finally brought down at the 15. Great timing wow. for the run right there, and it paid off in a big way. They line up in the jumbo set. And he stopped behind the line. What's good, Barry Sanders Jr.? Nice. Held him to three, gave up some rushing yards, held him to three. Slings it right. It's the That's a very accurate throw by Dez. I think more important. The school's record for passing yards in a season. He's taken apart every secondary they faced. And the more important part is I think they were spotlighting Hunter. He was at a really strong the start to the yard line. The 10. The 5. Touchdown. That's a strong run by a not real big guy. Who's big for us? Feeds it to the back. There we go. Feeds it to the 25 yard line. There we go. We got to hit him before he gets to the line of scrimmage. He's under pressure. Aaron and out long. So that he gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this. Three and out? Nice. He flings it left. Another whole shot. That time it was the free safety. He, he's only, he's not a fast guy. He's got like 80 speed. Like a that sucks. You just lied, Reese. Go get it. Fires quickly and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. And for Payne, that gives him a share of the school record for career touchdown catches. He's caught touchdowns in just about every conceivable way. I don't actually want them to get the first down here. Check 26, check 26. Okay, slants. And he's taken down. He held on. I thought I might even cause a fumble there. Right on the line. Power was shooting that gap, especially in quarters. Really did a nice job of We're shooting that gap, bro. And making the You're dealing with us. Gets it. He's in space. Tackle at the 33-yard line. That was. I don't. I don't understand. The big guy isn't the fastest out there, but he sure is a load to bring. I left him because I'm supposed to hand him to Eames. He held on. Okay, so first he he holds on with his hands away from the body through a hit stick, then breaks the tackle. I you just got I got I, got, I guess I got to tip my hat. I guess I got to tip my hat. He's taken down at the 50 yard okay. line. Okay. We're chipping away. Check, 
He's got it with room to run inside the 10. You got to respect Hunter in the middle of the field. You got to respect Hunter in the middle of the field. Offense is just wow right now. Fires out to his wide Knocked out of bounds at the 36. Wow, he actually caught that. That was actually a good route. There we go. That's how you dock it out, me. Again, dude. Come on, man. All right. All right. Uh, there's nobody else for him to guard. Well, hey there, guys and gals. Uh, it's halftime, which means hit that like button if you're still watching. Comment. I'm not Hollywood. I normally comment back. Share the video where you think other people might want to come check it out. And sub if you are not. It doesn't cost you a thing. I got to be real honest with you. Offense, we're kind of doing what we want, whatever we want to do. Uh, they, they got a little more stingy toward this end of the half, but we were still able to hit a couple of big plays. Desiree's playing out of his mind right now. Offensive line, we started the game off running the ball, which started opening up the deep ball, and we've been taking advantage of it. Defensively, we're not even playing bad defensively. It's one guy. I don't, I don't know what's up with Eames. He's blown like four. He keeps not easing I, I don't know what's up with him but uh yeah like there's <clears throat> it's one guy deep ball we're in cloud coverage he's got a deep half and one guy on that half side of the half runs deep he's nowhere near him uh we'll have to adjust it somehow maybe quarters but then we're giving up just whatever they want underneath they'll just be running slants and curls all day uh Man, I, I gotta figure out something because I feel like I feel like they can't stop us. And so we'll, we'll, we'll continue what we're doing offensively, just taking, you know, just attacking where they aren't. Defensively, we gotta figure out a way to, I guess, protect Deans because right now he's just not playing football right now. Second half, let's get it. Toughness to sit in that pocket. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. He's tackled around the 37 yard line. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And he's oh, I got smiked again. Oh, get up, Marshall. No. Wide receiver down there on the sideline. Looks like he's warming up. Good right. to see Marshall be, be back. back in this game. Strike two. That doesn't make good. sense. Quick throw. Inside the 10. Spectacular. Play. All right. That, that, is that the first? Uh, I think that's the second guy Payne has made miss in his career. Who you want to give the cheeks to? Touchdown. That may have been a pitch, but uh, I wasn't chancing it. That's what you should have did last play, me. Damn. Tyrone. Damn it. <clears throat> Keep forgetting when Sims runs that drag, I've got to be even faster because he's got. We, we can't run with that guy. Down and six. Ball on the 22 yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Makes it to the 14. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground. Uh, with the, the blocking. 
They come out in a goal line set. Hands it to the back. Yeah, we there. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction. I don't know what that was. Quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute the problem. I know it resulted in a field goal, but I don't know what that was. Uh, you've got to be able to fall off and beat that guy. That guy, you can't let that guy just. Uh, we got. And it carries the ball for a nice game. Okay. That's good for a game of five yards. To the 11. Mm -hmm. We're not. All right, we're getting out of that. Right. So with one quarter remaining, the Bulldogs lead 38-26. Doesn't make sense. You're in a hard flat, and he runs right to the flat, and you're nowhere near him. Looking for his man. Absolutely blew the coverage. Able to pick up the first down, and the ball will for no reason. Hey, it's the last game of the season. Brought down right around the third. Yes. Space. You know, one year we'll be able to win those. Here's the halfback on the screen. Big play, and it's first and goal. We caught him in a blitz. You gotta win that, and then is that holding? Clipping? Holding? Ah. No way. No way. God, no way, dude. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also. Well, Reward me. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety, so the quarterback gets the ball back. NCAA. Here. Reward me. Nice run there as they work the outside. I was trying to figure out why my play. I mean, I saw off balance, but I was trying to uh, unbalance, but I was trying to figure out why my players were uh, lined up where they were. That was great determination up front by the offensive line. They field is, is huge. And for them to just get a first down, new set of downs, they did everything they could that time to help the quarterback out to get that first down. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost NCAA. Play for the defense. Yeah, even Reward shot, me. Off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete. It's second down. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah. 
tackles him hard. Sick of it. Let's go get him. Blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, they've converted three already. Ow! Dude! Pass committed and everything. That guy's got 97 speed. You had an eight yard head start. And he didn't even have to throw it over the top. He just ran right by you. you dumb. That's dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. Is to take care of the There's nothing I can These do about it. need to remember that on this try. He tried to strip it. I was covering the ball. Johnson gained seven yards on that play. Stanford will take a timeout. Gains his way to the 26 yard line. Huge first down right there by the offense. I do believe that is ball point, game. Just trying to work the clock. As much as I want to, we're just going to show off some class because here at Gonzaga, we got class. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. It's final, a close one to the very end. The Bulldogs, 38, the Cardinals, 33. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? I'm sad to see this one in because it's a great game to watch. Stanford played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. Here's a look at our player of the game. EA Sports will donate $10,000 in his name to his school's general scholarship fund. Well, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty. It it was pretty at times, but it got drunk and started slurring its word and then woke up in its own vomit. But a W is a W, you know what I'm saying? A W is a W. Uh, big numbers for both teams. I hate it. I mean, I thought, I thought our offense was doing, we were doing really well and then we started uh, we were running the ball well, we were blocking well, and then we stopped blocking well. And then we stopped throwing well, like we started missing throws after we'd already established we could make throws. Uh, running the game, was, running the ball was rough, and then it was easy, and then it was rough. I just, uh, ups and downs, ups and downs. Ups and downs. Defensively, we went from playing our assignments to completely blowing our assignments to playing our assignments to completely blowing our assignments. Uh, I don't know how to make my player just play his assignment better. Like there's some times where they play it well and we look dominant and there's other times where we're, we're, we're nowhere near what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, I mean, Stats are cool, you know. Desiree had a great game. Didn't get sacked. Had the one pick on the, it was really just an inaccurate throw. Wrong shoulder. I don't, I don't even know how the how the guy was able to get to it. I mean, I know it was a zone blitz. Uh, yeah, so we, we, we ran the ball well. We started off strong. And then we had a lull in the middle there. And then we ended the game strong, you know. Receivers. Hey, we, we were performing well. The one drop, I can't even remember the drop. Uh, this is not good. Our two guys, we played a lot of two high and quarters. So this is not good. This should have been higher. He was actually the guy who, Mead was actually the guy who kept missing tackles. Uh, yeah. I mean, we got the win. That's all I'll say. We got the win. Uh, we end the season as Las Vegas Bowl champions. We're going into an off season where we filled out our recruiting board. We have one battle remaining to go. Uh, this following episode, 
it'll just kind of be like a, uh, a season capper where we'll reveal the all-american teams and the all-conference teams and you think and all that school? jazz and then we'll, we'll get to this recruiting and we'll get to trying to refill these depth charts because we're going to lose a lot of guys but our core will be back you know we'll, we'll return Desiree, we'll return womack johnson uh marokin this is the question mark right here mr payne how tempted to go to the league are you because he's got some measurables I know the Oakland Raiders of the of the early 2000s would love him, love him, just love him. Is he fast? Yeah, just love him. I think he's still got some growing to do. Uh, I'd love to have him back, but if we if this was the last game for Mr. Payne, he played a very good game for us and set some records. And uh, he'd be missed if he's leaving. But if you're coming back, you better be ready to work, son. Cause that's what we're gonna do. We're going to work. Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching. See you next episode. And like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Like, comment, share, subscribe.